photos. You just expect me to offer up an explanation of what I'm doing? What's your problem? I don't want my stuff on the internet or on the TV, so we so you to walked keep up to private. the camera. Why? Members are, have private information. Maybe so you shouldn't I have your that... private information in, on display on Main Street through glass windows. Well, really... I don't, but I will call dispatch if you don't leave and stop. I hear sirens somewhere. I hope that's not for us. Code three to the bank. Called in a fake robbery or something on us. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchman here. Out with him against at press. And today we're in downtown Rapid City, South Dakota. And uh, up the block there is the Black Hills Federal Credit Union. And we're gonna take some video outside on the public sidewalk as usual and see if the folks here respect our First Amendment right to do so. So we'll see how it goes. Today is Wednesday, uh, May 25th, 2022. It is 2.22 p.m and 66 degrees and uh partly sunny partly cloudy uh sun comes and goes but uh pretty nice out and we'll see how it goes so here it is black hills federal credit union So already got a lady looking at me out the window here. So here's the front door. Here's her uh, electronic sign here. The sheriff's vehicle failed to yield for my uh, pedestrian self in the crosswalk there. Uh -huh. Blew right past me. Not surprising. So this lady's got some great logic. She doesn't want to be on camera. She she starts screaming into the lens across the parking lot. What you guys doing? I'm sorry. What you guys doing? Oh, I'm just taking some video. Okay. For what? Because we can't solicit, and that's part of it. So what? What does that have to do with anything? Well, why are you taking video? Uh, continue talking to him. I don't. I'm not gonna entertain that kind of call. Well, I don't want my stuff on the internet or on the TV, so we so have you to walked keep up our members to private. the camera. Why? I'm sorry. So you walked up to the camera. Why? Well, you have a shirt, and you guys are standing out front taking videos I have a and shirt? pictures of our members. What does that mean? I have a shirt. Well, you're staring at all of our windows, taking pictures and video. You go, Maybe you shouldn't our have. Our members are, have private information. Maybe you so shouldn't I have your private information in, on display on Main Street through glass windows. Did you, say, did you say I'm staring in your windows? Did you really say that? Well, he did. I watched him walk up and point his camera into every window. On a public sidewalk? Well, yeah, you can. it's and a public do you, do sidewalk. And do you guys post your members' private information in the windows? No, but they have computers in there with private information. Oh, really? And you think that's what we're doing? Well, it looks like what you're doing. Can right you to the negative. Can right you to explain negative. to me what you're doing? I might have if you came out with a different attitude. You didn't even introduce well, yourself. I, I have no idea who I'm speaking to. I watched a member walk out and ask you guys not to post her stuff and get mad and I watched you yell at her. Right, I don't so, know what you said. All right, but... so you know what? I'm going to entertain your thought. Watch how this works. I'm going to ask you to go away. Okay. The sidewalk See, is a public place. See, I just saw place. you not do it. Yeah, the sidewalk's a public place. Say that again. 
it, the sidewalk is a public place, End but the building and the information and our members are all private. Well, I'm filming your building right now, so I hope you don't have any private info out here. I, well, really I don't, would... but I will call dispatch if you don't leave and stop. You can call anybody you want to call. That's up to you. She's going to go call, in, call the cops because A, you were taking pictures of the building, and B, you have a shirt on. Yeah, you have a shirt. You're taking video of the building. Too. and you have see that shirt. Yeah, look at our new shirts. Very cool. AP's got the same one on. You can see it. And if you don't get it, uh, scopophobia is the phobia of people looking at you in public. So I think it's kind of funny. Um, just like people like to do, like that lady, uh, scream into the camera lens from across the parking lot that you don't want to be on it. So I got a big yellow bright shirt on that says, don't look at me. I said to her, all right, so I'm going to ask you to go away then. And she goes, mm -hmm. no, I can stand here. It's a public street sidewalk. Yeah. Wow. Great. Really? Amazing. Really? Wow. I mean, think about that. Let that sink in. Rights for thee, but not for me. Amazing. So she's going to learn something here today. You know what? Yeah, hopefully point, uh, she'll educate herself, or if she's going to call the police like she said she's going to, they'll educate her. And uh, you guys saw, I was no closer than this. Um, I don't think I ever stepped foot onto this tile here. There's two tiles on the sidewalk. I've been on the further one this whole time. And uh, I could walk right up to their window if I wanted to. Like I said to her, they have glass windows on Main Street with their private personal information in it, according to her. So, uh, maybe they should do something about that. This is literally Main Street, too. I'm not uh, exaggerating. Yeah, so both the lady who got upset originally and the employee here, uh, I think her name was Amanda Gross on her tag, both the customer and the employee didn't want to be on camera, express that, and still chose to walk directly up to the lens and say that. Yeah, it's amazing. Now she's going to call the police and tell them that I'm uh, creeping in their windows filming uh, private information. Uh, meanwhile, I was probably standing 20, 30 feet away from the windows filming, and uh, that comes, that turns into I was peeping in their windows. So it's amazing what people do, and uh, if they really have all that private information hanging up on the walls in there, like they insinuated, um, that was the best move for them to do is to put the shades down like they did. Uh, they should have tried that before coming out and confronting the guys with cameras, saying I don't want to be on your video. But hopefully, these people will. Uh, realize the flaws in their logic and uh, not make the same mistakes next time. I hear sirens somewhere. I hope that's not for us. Code three to the bank called in a fake robbery or something on us. It's perfect that we have these shirts on today. It's the exact logic that these people use. And I'm sure now they're going to be in there revving up all the customers, uh, telling them that uh, they don't know what those guys are doing out there with cameras. They won't tell us, freaking them out. The cops are on the way, and then the customers will come back out and be upset, when meanwhile they would have just went about their business otherwise. So now this lady's probably freaked out from whatever they were telling her in there. And for no reason. So I think this is uh, probably our 10th video here in South Dakota. Uh, over the years we've been here a couple of times making videos and uh, playlist link will be in the description so you guys can check that out and see all the videos we've done in South Dakota and I have playlists organized for each individual state for the videos we've done in each individual state so you can check those out too and uh, see if we've been in a in your state or in a city near you I'm sorry no don't worry about it thanks see that was a very courteous uh, woman there no need to give me a hard time and uh, even worried about whether she's in my way so Kudos to her. Hopefully they don't uh, sway her opinion in, in there, the people that work here, and uh, feed her some cockamamie BS story and change her mood. Uh, hopefully she keeps a smile on her face and uh, goes on with her day. But... I'm sorry? I don't want to be on your thing. Oh, well, I'm just, I'm just taking a video, so. Can I say I... Uh... See, that guy felt the need to, instead of just walking in and going about his business, stand next to me for a minute and uh, preface his visit by saying, I don't want to be on that camera there. You know, he wasn't really rude about it. I don't want to hate on that guy too much, but thank people. Thank, seriously. If you don't want to be on camera, why would you walk up to the cameraman and say, hey, cameraman, look at me. Don't put me on there. 
Yeah. It's mind blowing, seriously. I can only imagine what photographers and videographers go through who are working on a project uh, that's not related to how people react to cameras, which is what we do. Uh, but if you were trying to do something and these reactions were really um, cutting into your time or the uh, daylight left or whatever and deadlines, and I can only imagine how frustrating that would be. So, uh, so here comes the lady that confronted us before, standing in the glass room here yet again. I'm sure she doesn't want to be seen uh, on the phone. I don't know if you guys can see her, but. Now that, that guy's hanging out in the lobby now to hear what she's saying, because he came up to me saying he didn't want to be on camera before. Yeah. You just expect me to offer up an explanation of what I'm doing? Is that the case? What's your problem? I don't know. You ask me if there's a reason what I'm doing, and then you just kind of stare at me like I'm your kid, and I came home late, and I owe you an explanation. So if you want to know something, keep communicating, keep asking the questions, and I'll choose to answer or not. You're a nice fella. Yeah. Some people think so, some people don't. You have a good day, though. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Wow. The guy Dude. thinks people owe him an explanation on the sidewalk. Dude, he literally, he goes, he went like this. He goes, uh, is there a reason what you, why you're doing what you're doing? And I said, of course there's a reason. And he went, <laughs> like I said, like I was his kid and I came home too late. Way too old. Wyoming to tag. He's yeah. probably Hodge's cousin. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Good day. Feels like the world owes him an explanation. wherever he is, private property, public property. He's riding around on his thing with his headphones on. He's got his mask on so he's not inhaling all the grass. And I'm just gonna walk up to him, make him shut the machine off, take his hearing protection off, take his mask off, and ask him why he's cutting the grass today. What his purpose is in doing that. It's, to me, it's the same thing. It's a uh, picture of the lineman. It's up on the, on, on the electric pole. Doing his thing, working, and you start screaming up to him. You wanna know what he's doing, and he's gonna actually Put all his tools down, climb down the pole, and explain himself to you. I'm in the middle of doing what I do on a public sidewalk, enjoying my day, living my life. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm not speaking. Yeah, guys, imagine um, you saw the lady who works here's response. Imagine that lady's response if we were out here asking her customers what they're doing today. How are you, boss? Good, how are you? All right, you can't complain today. Be good day, man. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Yes, sir. Right back at you. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, whatever that guy was saying. Yeah, I don't know what it is about people who don't want to be on camera that build big glass buildings on Main Street. It makes no sense. It's great. At all. Will I be in your way if I walk past here? No, don't worry about it. Perfectly reasonable response there from that woman. Uh, just walked right on by. No need to do anything else, especially if you don't want to be on the camera.
This guy's walking down the street singing at full volume. Good for him. Yeah, just making a video. And again, guys, I think uh, this is fascinating to me. Uh, you know, some people are into knitting and some people are into playing baseball, but uh, I think human behavior is absolutely fascinating. It's the only thing, it's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> it really is because you're always going to get, and I'm not saying negative responses, positive responses, whatever it is, but the point is, is, a lot of people are going to act very differently over the same thing. So it's very interesting to see how people behave, how they'll treat you, how they'll confront you, how they'll just walk away, how they'll walk down the street singing to themselves at the top of their voice. You know, it's just human behavior is amazing. And I think, uh, you know, all of these, uh, all the vloggers that are out there, uh, travel channels, auditors, anybody that's out on the street, street photographers, street videographers, um, that's some gold, man. That stuff's going to be precious years from now when people can look back and see what was going on in the world in 2022, uh, just the way we look back and uh, wish there was more video and uh, more stuff to look at from the 1800s, maybe, for example. I'd love to uh, watch Butch Cassidy come ride in on his horse, you know, <laughs> pulling up to the uh, saloon and uh, tying his horse up outside to go in for a cool, refreshing drink coming off the trail. But we're never going to see that stuff, so... Yeah, and that's that's a good point about uh, people who try to demand to know what you're doing and then force you to tell them. You can make up any BS story you want to, and they're gonna have to accept it because that's all you're giving them. So most people believe it. Not, I'm not saying that guy believes we're really here scouting for an Alec Baldwin movie like uh, AP was joking about, but um, you know, you can make up whatever you want. How do they know what you really know? Just wanna take a walk around the other side of the building. Um, I think there's sidewalk and at least two sides, maybe three. So uh, should be plenty of uh, view of the place from public access area. So stand by. There's some very busy uh, ice cream place over here. Look at the line for ice cream. I know. These folks in Rapid City are just coming out of winter. It's 70 degrees. They're sweltering. <laughs> Probably. They're boiling. Oh, look at the shade over here. Ah. Oh, my God. Why didn't you tell me this was here, Watchman? I didn't even think of it. Well, it doesn't look like we have any luck with the shade. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they got a big uh, drive through thing. Yeah. Check it out. You know they're checking us out out the window. We get a shot of the Dakota Mill in the rain. Cool stuff. For those of you who have never been to the Rapid City area, I highly suggest you do. Stuff. All right. How are you guys doing? Good. How you doing? Good. Good. Is that your parking spot today? So you're just deliberately parking in front of me? Yep. Really? You don't want me to be taking any video of the Dakota Mill and Grain plant? No. 
That's interesting. Yeah, I just want to stare at you. You just want to stare at me? Yeah. I'd prefer you don't. No, I'm done. Oh, okay. So you want to tell everybody who you are? Sure. Who are you? I'm the guy that's going to stare at you. Oh, I, I got that, but I'm saying who are you? I'm the guy that's going to stare at you. That's all. You're, you're a one-trick pony? Yep. Okay. All right, well, sounds good to me. Yep, see you guys. Well, there's no see you. I'm going to be here for quite some time. Sure. So will you. So we have South Dakota commercial plates. Well, he closed his window. This guy really thought he did something there. Yeah, I don't know what he thinks he's doing. It's amazing. Wow, the guy that's going to stare at us. That's great. So you guys saw that. I'm literally here taking some video of the uh, Dakota Mill and Grain plant. And this guy decides to pull up right in front of me and be a dumbass. So uh, we'll work with that. That guy doesn't have two brain cells to rub together. Let's see if he follows us over here. See, you know what the deal is, right? Papa Chipetto told him that if he could bust a couple of cameramen today, he could become a real boy. <laughs> oh, you know what it probably is, I bet you? I got you. Most logical thing I just thought of. His wife probably works here. And she called him and said, honey, come down here, I'm afraid. Some bad man outside of the building. There's two of them. So I think he's still hanging out in there. I think I just saw the checker pattern that was on his shirt. That's really funny. I don't know if you guys caught on to that, but um, as I mentioned before, I'm, we're wearing t-shirts that say scopophobia, which is the fear of uh, people looking at you in public. Obviously, it's a joke. And uh, all that guy knew how to say was, oh, you got the phobia? You got the phobia? When he was sitting there in his truck. Oh, uh, yeah. You really got me there. I got the phobia, man. Scared of people looking at me. show on TV. Oh, it's, I don't know where it's, you know, oh, never know where it's going to end up. 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Does it really? Yes, sir. On what channel? Do you, well, I, can't, I can't give you all the information now because uh, I'm in the process of doing what I do, but if you're here afterwards, we have to tell you. 
You know what you do? I could find out probably tomorrow morning. Yeah, you know what yeah, you do? Yeah, I saw you guys on TV on that show. What show? About where you go to the post office and you can film. Right on, there you go. Bro. All right. All right. Hey, you got bigger, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. Hey, keep up that work. Thank That's you. That's what the First Amendment. Well, you guys represent yeah, the First yeah, Amendment. First Amendment right? You yep. can film any public area. Yep. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, thanks. All right, buddy. Have a good day. Be fun to watch. Wow, a little support in Rapid City, South Dakota. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, he watches the video. Right on. He was into it? Yeah. <laughs> well, take my picture. Hey, Kevin O'Leary. Hey, Mr. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I like Pinocchio. <laughs> Bye, Pinocchio. Hello. Poor little Pinocchio. He's never going to turn into a real boy. Fellas, there we go. Good. My most favorite one is when you guys go to the post office and make them uh, read their own rules and regulations. Isn't that a shame that we have to do that? It's unbelievable. Yeah, it really is. And then uh, you were in Colorado one time and went to the sheriff's department. Same thing. Yep. 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 Happens all the time. I know. You but guys, I you, man. awesome, man. Trying to do work. Hey, he's getting big, though. Yeah, there he is. I'll have something to lean on when I'm old. Drive you around in your wheelchair. That's it. It's you filming. That's it. Oh, I'll have a dash cam on it for sure. <laughs> I'd rather you not if you don't mind. What's that? Film. Oh, I'd rather you don't look at me if you don't mind. All right. All right. Who do you work for? Sorry? What do you work for? I would love to have a conversation with you, but if you can turn around and not look at me, I'll have to <laughs> so I do that to prove a point because what I just said is absurd and uh, no more or less absurd than uh, somebody asking me not to film them out on a public sidewalk. So I'm just making a point. Yeah, it doesn't even say like, please don't film me. I don't want to be on camera. He just says, I would rather you don't film. <laughs> Stop filming. Is that what he, I didn't yeah. even realize that. I'd rather you don't film. God, I wish I had that ability. I wish I was Kim Jong Un. <laughs> Imagine that. I could just go out in the street and say, you will not do this any further. Do not do this. You will stop. Seize him. I mean, come on. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, but good. All right. Am I going to follow your picture? No, not at all. all right. Filming life as it happens. <laughs> Life in the big city, man. There you go. Appreciate you, bro. Okay, you guys. No photos. No photos? No photos. Oh, why? You look so good today. I know. I'm a movie star, you know. A movie star. There you go. Well, keep that attitude. Yeah, right. Keep the smile on your face, too. We I appreciate it. just want the money. <laughs> That's it, right? No fame. Just throw money. Have a good day. Ciao. Appreciate you. Sorry? Can you take pictures of? Oh, we heard Alec Goldman. Now nah, we're just out doing some videoing in the town, man. Just uh, capturing life as it happens. That's what's happening. Capturing life. As it happens. That's it. Yeah, you You're never know. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. This is my son. Hi. So I'm. Uh, we're making some memories and giving him something to show his kids one day. Yeah. yeah. Might seem strange. Some people take pictures of trains. Some people take but, pictures but of you never know. butterflies. A hundred years from now. It'll be on a digital disc somewhere in the Exactly right. You know, this is, uh, you know, I was just saying, wouldn't it be nice if us today, if we could just watch video of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid rolling into town on their horses and tying them up at the saloon and going in for a drink? Yeah, wouldn't it be nice if we could see that? Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate your smile and keep that up. Don't ever let anybody take that smile off your face. Well, if I don't... Don't let them do it. Yeah. No, it's not. Well, it might be challenging, but nobody can do anything to you you don't allow them to do. Absolutely. So, have a good day, gentlemen. Thank I appreciate you. it. Enjoy your work.
All right, guys, uh, you saw how that went here in Rapid City, South Dakota at the Black Hills Federal Credit Union. Um, definitely had some issues filming and definitely had some people who uh, didn't want to give us any issues. So a uh, mixed bag on this one, but uh, definitely a fail, I would say, for the employees of the credit union here. Um, making fools of themselves, calling the police, lying about us, exaggerating what we're doing. And uh, hopefully they got educated today. Since the police didn't come out, I'd assume they told them that we're not doing anything wrong. But uh, that's about it for this one, guys. So contact info is always in, in the uh, description. If you want to contact the uh, credit union here and let them know what you think of how their employees handled the situation. And um, make sure you check out the description. A lot of good info down there, contacts, like I said. And uh, all my playlists are down there, too, so you can see if we've been to your state or a city near you. And um, that's about it for this one, guys. So if you like this video, you support what we do, and uh, you want to see us keep making these videos all around the country. We've got a big 15,000-mile road trip coming up. Um, best way to help us out is to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, check out my other social medias. So watching The Watchman, out with Amagansett Press, here in Rapid City, downtown. Uh, at the Black Hills Federal Credit Union. See you in the next one, guys. Uh